talked about in the seminar yesterday. Uh, we were talking about identity and, uh, and how we locate, locate design in a way. And uh, and that's why I name I lecture locating design. And uh, what I'm looking into uh, a lot is, uh, is this uh, essential element of design origin. Where does design come from? How, how, do, you, uh, how do you locate the uh, making of design? Or how do you, how do you uh, link it up with, with how it is made, where it is made, um, etc. The first project, uh, which you can also see in the exhibition um, here, is a collaboration between um, five designers, including me, and, uh, and the uh, manufacturer of wool products in south, south of Iceland. This is a self-initiated initiated product, uh, project. The, the company did not ask us to do something, we asked them if they would be interested in it. And the project was founded, and uh, so the, the company did not have to pay us directly, the designers, for the development. Michael Thompson was uh, talking about this yesterday in the seminar and was criticizing it because it uh, has a bad influence on the companies, the ideas of the companies about design. But I think it uh, depends on, uh, on, the, on the situation each time. Um, this is the group, me and four other designers. They are all product designers except one fashion designer. Uh, when we entered the place, we did not really know what we were going to do. The only thing we wanted to work with the uh, uh, facilities in the workshop, in the knitting. It, is a, it was a, it's a wool knitting workshop. They work mainly with, with Icelandic wool um, and they make, make, for example, socks. And this is a, just a short video from one of the machines just to show you some atmosphere in there. This is the manager of the company, Tony. One of the main uh, sources, material sources, uh, Traditional material sources in Iceland is uh, the wool. We yeah. have the wool. We have a lot of sheep, as you see. What we wanted to do was we want to create some kind of specific uh, product for the company, for the location, that people would see, could see the local references in the products somehow in a subtle way. And so we, we visited the uh, local museum in the, in, the, in the area to get ideas. And, uh, and I'm just going to run through the, through the single products that came out of it. This, these are just from the picture of an old farmer in the area. And that's how somehow we came up with this idea. These are uh, balaclavas with a, with a uh, mustache. Different styles and different colors. That was was what we was really up to. We wanted to do this really direct, not too not too subtle, and also not trying not by falling into the falling into the kids souvenir Viking style, but really to create something different. So this is another process, and the idea is really that. Uh, this is a glacier, this glacier uh, has a volcano in it, and you say that the volcano sleeps under the glacier, so that's how we, this picture just came out. Because the, this volcano erupts in about every set, every hundred years. And another reference is, uh, was a uh, myth, was a bit sorry. I want, to tell you, I want to tell you this story because it's really. And in the law, I think it's 
There is a one ancient story from the south of Iceland about a farmer who early one morning finds a seal cat lying on the beach. In a cave nearby, he hears voices and music. He takes the seal pelt home and hides it in a wooden chest. Later that day, he returns to the beach and finds a crying naked young woman sitting on a rock. He brings her to his house where she stays, but he never tells her about the pelt. As time goes by, they get married and have children, but the young which belonged to her. She takes leave of the children, puts the pelt on, and before she dives back into the ocean, she says, I am very anxious with seven children on land and seven children in the sea. Connection, different color combinations. Um, another, ref and another reference is, uh, is the environment, the sea, its colors, surrounds the island. Um, was, uh, and then he presented it for the last time. But we were just, in the beginning we started uh, immediately to look for the right form, but, but somehow communicate old culture. And we ended up with these two objects. This is a milk uh, charm and the uh, lamp, old oil lamp. And this piece, um, it has a solar cell on the one side, like a cut in half. And the idea was that you don't go outside collecting the light. You put the light into the window with a solar panel on the, on the window side. And in about four or five hours, you have filled it with light. Thank you.